let's give ourselves a little bit more practice with logarithms. So just as a little bit of review, let's evaluate log base two of eight. What does this evaluate to? Well, it's asking us, or it will evaluate to the power that I have to, or the exponent that I have to raise our base to, that I have to raise two to, to get to eight. So two to the first power is two, two to the second power is four, two to the third power is eight. So this right over here is going to be equal to three. Fair enough, we did examples like that in the last video. Let's do something a little bit more interesting. What is, what is, and I'll color code it, what is log base eight? What is log base eight of two? Now this is interesting. I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. Well, we're asking ourselves, or this will evaluate to, the exponent that I have to raise eight to to get to two. So let's think about that in another way. So we could say eight, eight to some power, to some power, and that exponent that I'm raising eight to is essentially what this logarithm would evaluate to. Eight to some power is going to be equal to two is going to be equal to two. Well, if two to the third power is eight, eight to the one third power is equal to two. So x is equal to one third. Eight to the one third power is equal to two. Or you could say the cube root of eight is two. So in this case, x is one third. This logarithm right over here will evaluate to, will evaluate to one third. Fascinating. Let's mix it up a little bit more. Let's say we had the log base two. Instead of eight, let's put a, let's put a one eighth. One eighth right over here. So I'll give you a few seconds to think about that. Well, it's asking us, or this will evaluate to, the exponent that I have to raise two to to get to one eighth. So if we said that this is equal to x, we're essentially saying two to the x power, two to the x power, is equal to one eighth, is equal to one eighth. Well, we know two to the third power, let me write this down. We already know that two to the third power is equal to eight. If we want to get to one eighth, which is the reciprocal of eight, we just have to raise two to the negative three power. Two to the negative three power is one over two to the third power, which is the same thing as one over eight. So, if we're asking ourselves, what exponent do we have to raise two to to get to one eighth? Well, we have to raise it to the negative three power. So x is equal to negative three. This logarithm evaluates to negative three. Now let's really, really mix it up. What would be the log, what would be the log base eight, base eight of one, one half. What does this evaluate to? Let me clean this up so that we have some space to work with. So as always, we're saying what power do I have to raise eight to to get to one half? So let's think about that a little bit. We already know that eight to the one third power is equal to two. If we want the reciprocal of two right over here, we have to just raise eight to the negative one third. So let me write that down. Eight to the negative one third power is going to be equal to one over eight to the one third power. And we already know the cube root of eight or eight to the one third power is equal to two. This is equal to one half. So the log base eight of one half is equal to, well, the power I have to raise eight to to get to one half is negative one third. Equal to negative one third. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did.